Good morning everyone. I want to do a little mini video here to show you what I did wrong. Okay, so when I put all these together, I did really well, you know, one at a time, squaring them up. Well, when I did the, when I did this piece here, I did it like this as, you know, as I should have, but when I was putting pressure on it, I was putting pressure here. I should have pulled this back and pushed up against while I was pushing this together. So as I pushed really hard this way, it let this stay at an angle slightly, but it caused it to not be square so that my sides didn't match up. So after I did this part, you know, because you're going to have the five pieces together, after I did this part, I should have done the other three here, you know, after I made sure that this was squared up, then flipped it around and did the same thing with the other one. Um, you know, not just putting pressure at the base, but putting pressure up here as well. So that caused for it not to, um, not to be squared up when I went to put my box together. And my box looks like crap. I'm not even going to pretend like I don't notice that or that I don't know that. So when these are all put together correctly, they should line right up as long as it's, you know, put together the way it's supposed to. I do have a small gap over here for some reason, or a, not a gap, but a, but an overhang a little bit. It's not terrible, but mine were terrible. Mine were actually pointed inward so that I had a gap on each side, which caused it to not go together. So that's, <clears throat> you know, that's the thing when you're putting these together is make sure that this top is just as straight up against that um, square as possible. And that would have been great. Thank you for watching me. I really appreciate you. All right, let's jump right into it here. I'm using my tight bond glue, original wood glue, and this is actually very old, but it still is one of the best glues that I've used, um, and also hot glue. So I put the uh, tight bond on the edges and the hot glue in the center. And um, as you're gluing these together, you want to kind of flip them back and forth. I may not have done that enough because my mind gets, you know, dancing around the music that's playing or, you know, preoccupied and whatnot. I kind of lose track of what I'm doing. I have to remember to speak loud and towards the microphone. And I apologize if I get low spots. I, I forget what I'm doing. Same thing. Anyway, for this, you need 64 tumbling tower blocks, and um, you're going to, what I'm doing right there is gluing 11 of them together in a straight line, and then I'm going to use five more um, to make the top piece of the side panel of the box that we're making. So um, here in a minute, you're going to see me when I start putting my five together. Oh, and by the way, I wiped these things and, you know, oh, there, I'm putting that one. When I put these together, I end up putting glue on the wrong end of one of those. And uh, I thought it was there, but it's not. It's right here. I'm trying to keep on going. And I realize what I did. But anyways, I take um, the wet wipes and wipe these, wipe the glue off of these. And it seems like it's never enough. I always have glue strings. I always have glue when I go to stain or paint. And I don't know why. I wipe the heck out of them sometimes. So anyways, the same thing. You know, glue, um, wood glue and hot glue. Try to keep these sturdy and in for the long haul. But uh, this one matched up pretty good if I remember correctly. It's the other ones that don't match up quite so well. I should have stopped after the first one. But I didn't. I just kept right on going. And uh, anyway, 
here I'm just sanding to make sure um, there's nothing sticking out nothing doing there were some words on there I believe and then picking off some more glue remnants and um, I still when I'm I use a burnt umber with a drop of black and some water to um, stain these and I still end up having to pull off glue, glue strings but um, I like to use this um, watered down paint technique for one thing it's cheap and it and it makes your you know it, it a little goes a long way and it makes it last a lot longer but you don't have to wipe you don't have to do any of that but there's a couple of cons to it at least one the real one is it's dull when it's done it's not as it doesn't look as finished it just looks dull and another con is that it's not sealed up um, so if you do this you're planning on whatever you're doing if you use that you have to go on along and seal it which is not a big deal but um, it is not sealed when you do it this way. There's no sealant in it at all. You're just using watered down paint. And acrylic paint is water soluble too. So if it, you know, if it gets rained on, it's just going to waterlog. So that's my professional opinion. Ha ha. Um, so the twine, I'm using two arm's lengths of twine. You can see me, I pull it out and then grab it and pull it out again and I just use two arms lengths for each one which was too much but I use it in the next project also but when I'm doing something I would rather have too much than not enough now here I end up cutting six strands which should have been nine strands I even start to put it together before I realize well duh you need to have one more set of three so anyway um, you know, I catch it after the after I wrap it a couple times. I realize, hey, this ain't a braid. This is a twist. But um, one thing that I did wrong is you'll see me. I don't know. I sped it up, so I don't know how much of it's actually going. To, you know, is actually on here, or you know how much of it you can actually see. But when I twist the th you know the braid as I'm braiding you'll see me hot glue in every now and then well you should have hot glued I should have hot glued every single time I I brought one over one set over the other because when I go to cut them down later to put into the planter um they were fraying in the spots that didn't have glue there I just just realized what I did wrong but when I go to cut them um, as braids when I cut where there was no glue it frayed apart and you can't tell where the glue is but you need to be able to cut them I'm gonna say it about it's about a half an inch and a half <clears throat> excuse me inch and a half pieces and everywhere I cut that didn't have it hadn't been glued prior glued I don't know what I'm trying to say there well I know what I'm trying to say I don't know which word I'm trying to use if I hadn't glued it it frayed on me and I had to um, try to take those tiny little pieces and glue them and it was a it was a big pain so I learned to glue them each and every time which is kind of monotonous but if you want it to you know if you want it to go together easily it's better off to take the time while you're braiding it than it is to um, have it come apart on you so here I'm just doing it I think every couple times so I might do it a few times at first and then I kind of slacked off a little bit but um, you definitely need to glue it each time you bring one set over so there I needed to glue it and then, which, like I said, I think I start off good. And then I slacked off and I stopped doing it every run. But it definitely needs it. So, um, some of the pros to um, using the watered down paint is 
you can paint the both the front and the back side you don't have any wait time because it doesn't show your fingerprints um, you can make it any color you want any color can become a stain um, so all you have to do you know if you paint both sides or you know plus the ends and the sides you know you just prop it up against something so the minority is touching things and it'll just dry just fine like that but if you use an actual stain you have to let it dry then you have to paint the side that you had it laying on um, so that's why I like but I like it mostly you know you just it's quick and it's easy and like I said though once it dries up it's not shiny like I don't know, shiny is the right word. It just doesn't look finished. It's more of a dull, it has a dull appearance to it. So it's just not as pretty. Um, so I'm seeing, I put a couple notes here. Oh, I'll get a little bit ahead of myself on there, but um, when I start to cut these down, when I start to glue these onto the box sides, um, I seem to not be able to get the right spacing. I did it first I think I did them too far apart then I did them too close together then I actually point saying make sure you're putting these together closer but then after I did that I didn't like that at all so kind of uh, like a medium spacing and I think I ended up using eight pieces of braid um, for each side I think it was eight pieces so I actually had one that I used up some some of the thinner twine I had used and I ran out and I only needed like I only needed like four more pieces but I didn't feel like braiding again so I used some that I had already done you know the thinner twine and I ended up using that so one of my sides actually has nine pieces to it but once I realized that the sides weren't going to match up I you know I kinda gave up on it I wasn't gonna do it then I thought no if I just go ahead and and tell them that I messed up first and show them how to fix it um, you know it'll be a lot it'll it'll still be good it'll just be a lot better to go ahead and explain what I did wrong as opposed to just not showing the video at all I mean I did spend a lot of time making the making this box you know just to scrap the video so um, I am going to make another one and I'm going to make it really pretty make it to where the the sides match up but just in case I don't get around to that I need to be posting YouTube. I'm always not. Uh, I'm not always real proud of myself when I do some things, but I keep convincing myself to keep going. Just keep going, keep moving on. I've had a really hard time. I tried to do an intro to this video. Um, I was on time number four, and I said, you know heck with it I'm just not going to do one because I I haven't been feeling well I've had a really rough four or five weeks my creativity level dropped um, I, I just can't think I get I have post-traumatic stress disorder so my mind gets boggled down and it's really hard for me to come up with things to do you know, when I do something, I want it to be perfect, and I want everybody to think it's good. So I don't just want to, you know, just put out a bunch of crap that falls apart, or, you know, that I don't want to just do every stuff that everybody else is doing either. I want to come up with my own things to do. And, you know, sometimes I just come down here and I watch videos and put together stuff that someone else has done just because it looks fun or it looks cute or whatever but I don't do it on video because it was someone else's now there so you can see I tore um, I think I had like four pieces on there I tore them all off just to um, get a new start on it 
and I still wasn't satisfied. I ended up doing that like twice. I tore it apart. Um, I'm telling you to push them close together, but I suggest you leave just a little gap in between them because afterwards it looked really pretty that way. It looked a little bit better than having them too close together. Um, I have to put some background music on this. Um, I did this video and completed it and then went up to put the back went to you know hit click background music and went to put the background music on it and when I came back from the background music spot my video was ruined I don't know what it is about this um, editor but it it's done this to me twice now it shortened my videos it shortened my my clips it shortened them down to just a few seconds each one so I'm like what the heck just happened so you'll hear me start off you know before I X the sound out you'll hear me start off in the video in the clip and it just jumps to the next clip and it jumps to the next clip just completely cut everything out and I was so frustrated I was already so frustrated anyway because like I said I've just had a rough you know I'm just going through a rough patch and then that happened and I was like oh my gosh I just can't win you know I just can't uh, seem to um, have anything work out for me so I guess the most important thing that I can say is I'm still kicking I'm still not giving up yet um, yeah so here's where I find out all my corners don't match and I'm pretty frustrated at this point I actually said that there uh, tried to put it in the inside or tried to put it on the outside and it cracked the glue loose on the other the other end because I was trying to fit it someplace that obviously did not fit but uh, anyways it's all trial and error when you're doing videos or when you're putting things together you know if you've seen the mistakes I made oh my goodness we'd probably all get a good laugh but I'm not always on camera so I do need a new video camera this one is a USB um, so it's connected to my computer in order to work I need to get one that I can actually move around because now I have my saws working and I would like to start doing some um, wood crafts so I need to get a video camera that can go into the other room with me and I also along with that I'm sure will come new um, um, audio equipment because this one's terrible I think that I'm talking normal and then I get go to watch one of my videos and the sound the volumes just crazy low and I'm actually as if somebody was sitting five feet away from me would be able to hear me just perfectly and the camera is not even a foot away from me it's got a built-in microphone and my quality's always messed up okay so after you know getting it all put together um, I'm going to put these huge the jumbo craft sticks from Walmart on to um, make a base for you know whatever you want to put inside um, I'm actually using mine as a well it has Dollar Tree uh, wooden letters and I've got some uh, oh what is it I don't know what it is from the Dollar General it's got some wood shapes that I picked up at a flea market for 25 cents so I just kinda have it as a catch-all for my shapes and you know it works just fine it's just it just didn't go together very well so like I said I would like to make another one and take it upstairs and actually use it in my decor because I think it is really pretty um, the wood grain but I would probably use antique wax on it this time as opposed to the uh, water stain 
So, um, yeah, so I'm trying to make sure I covered everything. Yeah. So I don't, I didn't paint these, um, beforehand. So, cause I just stuck them to it and then just went over it with the stain and then made sure that I got the sides because the sides and the, you know, the edges and the sides are what you're going to be able to see once this box is complete and sitting, sitting on a table or whatever. So, just a quickie brush here and then we'll move on to my um, braided um, picture box, I guess you call it using two Dollar Tree canvas frames. The I believe they're the 8 by 10s And uh, some more braided twine. I really love the look of wood and twine together. I really think it looks um, I, I guess it's farmhousey. But um, see I should have got done with that and been like oh I'm so proud of this and but then it's all whole wonky. Oh, it's so embarrassing. I'd be so embarrassed to put it. I'd be too embarrassed to put it up there and say, oh, I made that. But anyway, it looks good if you, you know, if you can't see the edges. But each, each side on its own looks really good. Just put together, it just doesn't look good put together. So anyway, lesson learned. That's all I can say, lesson learned. So... Now we're going on to my picture box. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so for this, I'm using some of the um, twine that's already braided up. So I, I didn't show, you know, I was just telling you to make sure that you um, glue it in each spot, basically. And I did end up needing a little bit more than what I had. So I did end up... Uh, making another, but this time I just did arm's length, um, nine, nine pieces of rope, and this time I'm using black, this is just black and water is all it is, so I do like the black with the twine, and it, once this dries up, it's, it's not really black, it's really more of a, just a gray, um, and like I said, it's a doll. When you do it this way, it just stays dull. There's no real, uh, it's not a high-end finish or anything. It's just dull. But I, I still think it, it turned out pretty. Um, and I'm just going to say mistakes were made on this. Um, also, when I put the braids on it, um, it, it was too bulky. And it comes out the sides. Um, it's still, the concept is there, just like with the box, you get the idea, and it can be really, really pretty, um, if it's done correctly, and I really do like this, I just don't like the way it looks on the edges, on the sides, so, what I would do different on this is um, when I put my when I put my braids on, I would cut cut them at an angle where they're going to fit onto the picture frame, so that when the next piece that comes over to meet that, instead of setting it on top of it, I would cut it at an angle to fit with the piece that's already sitting there. So again, I, you know, I had already done the video and I didn't want to just scrap the video because I'd already put a lot of time into it. So maybe I should change the name of my channel or the description of my channel to what not to do. Terry tells you what not to do or Terry's the perfect example of what not to do. I don't know. But um, like I said, the concept is there, so there was no reason to scrap the whole video. Um, anyway, if you're if you've been here with me 
for this long. I really appreciate you. Um, and I don't, even if you only made it five minutes and you're not hearing this, I still appreciate the people who did. Um, I really do appreciate it. Um, I would appreciate some likes and sub subscribes, but, you know, I'm not going to be everybody's cup of tea, and I don't expect to be. Um, eventually, my channel will grow. Um, I'll probably be doing a lot better when they adjust my medication to where I'm not having so many very low lows. Um, I just took dry paper towel and wiped this. But I thought it was going to be dar a lot darker than what it ended up being. Um, it just turns out being a kind of a, I don't even know, like a brownish gray color. It, it looks, it just looks like the wood shows through on it. But it's still really pretty. So, anyway, so I did have some braids left over, but I do need more. So I go ahead and uh, I braid that all the way. The rest of what I had from the two arms length from the planter box and then I end up cutting more and I you know like I mentioned before I just use one arm's length to make more which turned out to be plenty and then you know glue it each time you turn it <clears throat> which can be um, what do you call it a daunting task but if you love what you do you never work a day of your life right isn't that what they say I, I do get I have adult ADHD not HD ADD so I do get rather bored with things quickly I don't uh, I don't like to keep doing the same thing over and over again I get very bored with it. So I hop from down here, I go up to my sewing machine. Now I have two sewing machines and an embroidery machine. And I haven't touched the embroidery machine since I learned how to use it. And I just got the new, the brand new um, sewing machine. And I set it up. I It took me, it sat there for a week or two before I even set it up. Um, I have a singer and now I have a brother. Um, so you put them all together and I have a singing brother. Uh, but, um, my singer, which I love, was, uh, is, will, takes fine fabric and just beats it down into the, the feeds. So, I tried everything, um, adjusting the tension. I went to the Singer website and completely tore the thing apart and did this and I did that. And, of course, there's no adjustment for the feed dogs. So, um, I thought it needed to be tighter, so I lowered my um, thingamajigger down to make it tighter and that didn't do it it's still instead of um, sewing through the fine fabrics which is a quilt I was trying to make quilts um, it was just jamming the, the material down so I changed you know every kind of needle you can imagine and every kind of tension that there is every different stitch that there is every time I hit the back stitch it screwed it up every time and sometimes you know when when it goes down in there your material don't come out the same it'll have big holes in it so I'm like I can't waste another piece of fabric on this so I I did my research on machines and I found out that the brother machine I think it's the what is it the 6000 I I was gonna get the 7000 I which is like 40 bucks more 50 bucks more but it's just a newer version. It has a few more stitches, which I don't need. So I just went with the 6000i. But it said it's not good for bulky fabrics, thick set fabrics. And I don't need it for that. I need it for the thin fabrics. So 
I had the singer for the bulky fabrics and the brother for the thin stuff. So, okay, so you're just going to make a basic X and, uh, you know, glue them down. And this is where um, I should have cut these down more to keep them off of the edges. Um, hindsight being 2020 and all, but I should have uh, cut it down differently to make sure that it didn't come up over the edges because once you put it down there it's hard to cut. I tried cutting it with a knife and cutting it with scissors and it's just really it's too hard to um, get off there once you once you get it on there. So I should have cut those down more and then here we're going to overlap and that makes it really bad but next time when I make this and I am going to I'm getting ready to make another one you know a little bit different but I will cut my um, twine at an angle and then you know angle the next piece to fit up against it instead of going over top of it like I did so everything's good here and then one more piece going that way then I will switch to the other side and that's where they overlap. So I think I run out of braid here and I had to just braid in between. I just, you know, stop the camera and then braid some more. But here's where I should have cut at an angle. But I didn't just cut it to fit and then anything that hung over I should have cut that off before I glued it down but I didn't I just gave myself something to talk about I guess so anyway you can probably hear my dog snoring in the background one of them is having a bad dream or something right now so I'm going to call her name out Ruby it's okay baby sorry about that she's breathing real heavy I could tell she's having some kind of a nightmare or she's running after her. maybe she's chasing a cat in her dream that dog hates cats oh my goodness they sit right outside her chain and tease her because the neighbor lady let out 15 cats out of her house instead of uh, taking them to the pound where they, they may have possibly been adopted out she just let them out so they're all over out here now and uh, poor little Ruby she don't like them she's little she's a boxer so we have two boxers we have right now we, we have two boxers one of them is 120 pounds. He's huge. But, so anyways, I love this pattern here. I just absolutely love it. It's just the um, bits and pieces that I don't love about it. So, um, I am going to wrap twine around the corners. Oh, I still haven't realized that I want to use a second, um, canvas frame yet um, after I turn it around and start thinking about it um, I think well wait a minute it's such a pretty design let's uh, put another frame on it and make it into a box to hold greenery so see I tried um, if you don't cut it before you put it on there you're you're just asking for for uh, hard hardship I say you're asking for trouble what kind of trouble is going to come I don't know but anyways yeah it's really hard it was really hard I 
even though you see some of it coming off, it's just what was left over from the uh, razor, from the X-Acto knife, but it's just really difficult. It was really difficult to trim down. So here's where I decide I'm going to go ahead and use another uh, frame. So I pluck the staples out and um, get that stained, and then uh, I'm going to add it to the other to make it into a box, another box. So. I think that's when I switched over to the Gorilla Glue, just to try out the Gorilla Wood Glue. The Tight Bond Glue, 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 glue. the Tight Bond Glue is yellow, and it stays yellow. It's the only thing that I really don't like about it. It is a runny glue, but I think the Gorilla Glue is too. But you know, it is running, so if you get too much, it runs. And if you like, you don't know what you're doing with it. And you put some on there, it'll drip right off of whatever you're you're putting it on. So, anyways, I use Gorilla Glue on this. Um, just trying out the Gorilla Glue. I did do a couple of tumbling tower um, crafts with it, and I do like it. I do like the Gorilla Glue also. But Tight Bond has always been there. It's always been good. So, okay. So I am no florist. I will tell you that. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm going to wrap that. Okay, so I start off here, you know, down low on that corner. And I have to glue it in different spots to keep that twine where I want it. But, when I did the other corners, I started at the tip of the corner and worked my way down. And I didn't have any trouble keeping the twine. Um you know, keeping the twine where it was at. So see, the twine has nothing to rest against. But when you start at the tip and you glue your twine to the back side, each row that you put on after that rests up against the other. I don't know why, well, I guess because you're going towards the tip, which makes it want to roll off, wants to roll that way. So you don't have to use as much glue you know when you start at the tip and you work your way backwards and I don't know why that is but each time now each time I wrap this I had to use a dot of glue here and a dot of glue there but with the other corners it it went so much easier I started at the tip and worked my way down you know towards the center so I hope that made sense how I said it but but yeah, this was, I had to keep putting glue here and putting glue there just to keep it on there. So, and now, as I was saying before, uh, I'm no florist. So I'm not really good at putting uh, greenery in things. So all I did was just make it uh, look decent. I didn't glue anything down in it just for uh, video purposes um, put some greenery in it to show you kind of what it would look like um, if I would get serious about it and just start practicing I could probably you know I'd probably be fine at putting greenery in but, oops I come back to show you something I don't know what just said I covered that staple up I think so, okay, so there I did all four corners, and I think it looks really nice, um, and, and this being black, I think when I do this again with my next project, I'm going to actually paint it black um, with actual paint, no water. So, I like the color black with the twine. Um, I think it just looks fantastic. So anyways, this is about to end. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you. Um, please consider hitting like and subscribe. I hope you like the video. And remember, if anybody can do it wrong, I'll do it. I'll even do it on video. Thank you so much. Goodbye.